I put myself in the ring? How did I put myself in the ring? By worshiping him. I enter the ring. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here, and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. What shall be filled? The earth. Where are you? You're on the earth. Where's the Holy Ghost? He's on the earth. So it will be the glory of the Lord God, the Holy Ghost, that fills the earth we have to start somewhere we're gonna start this message from that base that it will be the glory of the Holy Ghost because he's the God in the earth today it will be his glory say his glory that will fill the earth why the earth because that's where he is that's where you are well herein you will find my mission my plan and purpose in life is right here the earth being filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord has this happened yet no in order for this to happen then a lot of things must change right first and foremost you must change say I must change if you're gonna have this you must change your thinking must change your believing must change the reality that you live in must change if the glory of the Lord is gonna be covering the earth and that's you're involved in it then uh, your reality will be a lot different than it is right now the manifestation of this is more valuable than gold get that straight his manifestation his manifestation the Lord of Spirits manifesting himself in the earth and his glory is way more valuable than gold when the word spoken from him comes to you you have a choice you can either hear it and believe it and be changed by it or you can just stay where you're at and continue as you were most people choose to simply continue as they were because they're comfortable with it change is almost never comfortable Matthew chapter 13 and verse 12 whosoever has to him shall be given reading scripture whosoever has to him shall be given and he shall have more I have and live in a reality that others simply know nothing about because I have obeyed that which I've already been given I was given something and I obeyed it and then I'm given more I've obeyed I've acted on and I've been changed by what was given me and therefore more is given and I frankly expect more can I expect more Acts chapter 26 verse 19 Paul said I was not disobedient unto the heavenly vision Paul had a heavenly vision and he's telling uh, King Agrippa there that he wasn't disobedient to it well what does that mean he obeyed what he got from heaven you see I've obeyed 
and I've advanced and I've been given more and some people look at you dumbfoundedly but why are you given so much because I've obeyed the little thing I was given and then I've been given more and I've been given more and I make advancements by paying prices of obedience many years ago I was given by an angel words to use he said use these words I worship you Holy Ghost I had to choose at that point I was either going to be obedient to that or to continue on in the path that I was in before because I'm telling you those words were not in any of the paths of the group of people I was with so I had to make a choice I'm either going to obey and do it or stay where I was at well I chose to obey use the words I worship you Holy Ghost well to use words you have to say them and not only was I saying them I was preaching them and I preached them and I preached them and I said them and I said them and I preached and I preached and I said and I said to the point where people are like ah what are you saying why do you keep preaching on this because I was being obedient to do what I was given and I made advancements so he said use the words I worship you Holy Ghost and I began to use the words I worship you Holy Ghost what do you mean use them I mean I began to say I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost and those words began to transform me and transport me into a different place that I knew nothing about before and if you don't use those words like I was using them you don't know anything about what I'm talking about it put me in a completely different space a completely different reality that I get to live in I get to because I was obedient and I advanced and more was given me and you will too as you use them well after obedience say after obedience what does that mean that means after you obey not before you obey after you obey more is given after obedience after you obey there will be more given you don't know what it is yet but it will be given after say after after obedience to that I worship you Holy Ghost using the words I worship you Holy Ghost an angel came and spoke a singular word to me the word only and I began asking God why does this angel keep saying the word only and he said he speaks the word only so I began to use the words I worship you Holy Ghost only and that transformed me even more and after say after after obedience to using these words and preaching these words and using these words and preaching these words he listen he the Holy Ghost personally came into my room on the first of this year 2022 and introduced himself to me as the Lord of Spirits you see because he is the one that sent those angels to me he's the Lord of Spirits he is the one who sent those angels to me that I've been I've been obeying what they've said are you here through that obedience he was able to come in and introduce himself to me in a way that he couldn't before that wouldn't before that 
hebrews chapter 1 and verse 7 who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire he makes his angels spirits say his angels spirits his angels are spirits that's what i'm trying to get across here now look down at verse 14 are they not all ministering spirits talking about his angels sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation we shall be heirs of salvation the angels are sent forth to minister for us are you here they're ministering spirits he the holy ghost is the lord of these spirits they are in the earth they've been sent forth these angels have been sent forth into the earth does this make you happy makes me happy they're in the earth who else is in the earth you're in the earth the holy ghost is in the earth he's the lord of spirits and now i suppose you would have me like so many not talk about these things you know a lot of people would prefer that right they don't like it but i'm not disobedient i must speak of these things paul spoke of those things well, the holy ghost is the lord of spirits in the earth today it's his dispensation on the day of pentecost it became his dispensation he has full authority say it full authority the holy ghost in the earth is god he has full authority he's the lord of spirits the angels that are in the earth that have been sent forth jesus ascended and sat down he's in heaven right now actual jesus sat down in heaven his dispensation is not today jesus sent the holy ghost into the earth and the, it is now the holy ghost's dispensation jesus will return then another dispensation will take place but for now where you are now say where i am now it's the holy ghost his dispensation in the earth and the angels that are here he is the lord of spirits if it's done in the earth by god it's done by the holy ghost or his angels or you being obedient but he the holy ghost is the lord of spirits are you getting this john chapter 4 verse 24 says god is a spirit and they that worship him i am a they that worship him say it i am a they that worship him god is a spirit god the spirit god the holy ghost the lord of spirits that worship him i put myself in the ring how did i put myself in the ring by worshiping him i enter the ring say it by worshiping him i enter the ring who else is in the ring the angels they worship him too we'll get into that worshiping him puts you in the ring and the longer listen the longer you're exposed to this message i know people have been around for a while for many years some people up to 10 years have been with me in this message and they've confessed to me after a period of time that said it took them a while to get it it took them a while to embrace it because it, because it seems so radically different to what they've been taught before but the longer you're exposed to this message of the holy ghost being god in the earth today and worshiping him and walking with him the more you'll be transformed worshiping him transforms you 
and exposes you to the reality I'm exposed say I'm exposed God is a spirit and they that worship him we are they that worship him we know him as God we know who he is and he is the Lord of they that worship him well there are angels that worship him can you imagine this I mean, there's many many scriptures Psalms chapter 103 verse 20 bless the Lord ye his angels bless the Lord worship the Lord you his angels that excel in strength that do his commandments hearkening unto the voice of God's word bless the Lord all ye his hosts say hosts say hosts again say hosts one more time bless the Lord ye his hosts you ministers of him that do his pleasure now remember we we read ministering spirits that's who we're talking about these are spirits Holy Ghost is in the earth the angelic spirits angels are in the earth their spirits he in the earth is Lord over those spirits he's the Lord of spirits well I've never heard of the Lord of spirits before have you heard of the Lord of hosts what hosts angelic hosts are called bless ye the Lord all ye his hosts who is the Lord of hosts the Holy Ghost is the Lord of hosts he is the Lord of spirits that worship him angels worship him you worship him he is the Lord of spirits are you getting this Lord of hosts literally means armies the Lord of armies well there's an army of angels in the earth they're in the ring say they're in the ring how they get in the ring by worshiping him you're part of that army you enter the ring by worshiping him are you here they that worship him angels worship him you worship him you're in the ring you're in that army there are things that God has told me that frankly I'm gobsmacked over but they're there they're real and we're entering into them someone has to we are in that day and in that hour the glory of the Lord of Spirits shall cover the earth it will be his glory and him manifest as the Lord of Spirits in the earth I hope you heard that there is an ever expansive manifestation of the Lord of Spirits in the earth for good and profit there has to be his glory is going to cover the earth ever expansive say ever expansive I like to say super super manifestation of the Lord of Spirits the Holy Ghost God in the earth today welcome in 1st Corinthians 12 7 the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit in the manifestation the revealing of the Spirit the Lord of Spirits is given to every man to profit first Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 4 my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in demonstration of the Spirit revealing of the Spirit and his power revealing ever expansive revealing of the Holy Ghost and his power his power is his glory in the earth ever expansive ever expansive ever expanding ever expanding holy ghost 
lord of spirits god in the earth that your faith would be in the power of god the spirit how far does that go his power his glory it's ever expansive we go with him from glory to glory one lady asked me well why has the holy ghost chosen to hide himself for so long and i answered there's there's times and seasons you know we're in the last of the last days and this scripture is glory being manifest and covering the earth still has to be manifest and come to pass but the reality is listen the reality is he prefers not to reveal himself to people who are unproven or unfaithful people that are unproven or unfaithful to the things that he's given them he just stops how many churches you know are here he prefers to not reveal himself to people when they think they know everything first corinthians 14 verse 38 but if any man be ignorant let him be ignorant so let him be holy ghost wrote this the lord of spirits doesn't particularly like religious people and those who are unwilling to change when his words come to their ear they won't get very far he says they don't worship me do you know these people they don't worship him how far are they going to get the reality you live in will change as you worship him and know him as the lord of spirits the reality you live in will change and it will be glorious thank you holy ghost for blessing these people and that your glory is resting upon them now and as they are willing they will change from one glory to the next and everything in their life will change every single thing in their life every cell of their body every part of their financial being will change and it will be glorious and i thank you for it holy ghost in jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost i worship you you are god in the earth today and because i worship you you are the lord of me in the earth and i begin to partake of your glory and your glory is financial your glory is physical your glory renews my youth heals my body and increases my bank account i give you all the praise and all the glory in jesus name amen